everybody. It is Todd, the curator of Thrift, and I am back at the back room of the store because I have some things to ship. Um, I brought my stuff with me today, um, and then I'm going to do the stuff for here because I've got five, five sales. Five sales, but four of them are shipping because two, uh, two of the sales the guy bought separately. So. That's what's going on, and I was, uh, like I said, I just left my boss's house, friend's house. You'll see that in another video if you've watched it. Um, still got stuff to do there, so I am just figured it's Wednesday anyway, and this is my normal day. I needed to hit here, get this stuff packed, drop it off at the post office on my way back home. So with that, let me grab my stuff out of my truck, and I'll let everybody know what I sold. All right, so first off, um, I have this uh, of my sales, this Del Taco keychain. Kind of show, make it easier. I actually don't remember where I got it. It came with a bunch of stuff I had sitting in my house. I think I don't even remember. I think I bought like a bag of something somewhere. But anyway, I sold that thing for thirty dollars. I had it on for thirty nine ninety nine. I sent out a bunch of offers, I think for $34.99 or something like that. Somebody sent me a message, the buyer, say asking if I'd take $30, bucks, which is absolutely. I don't even remember what I paid for it. So I went ahead and told, because I had sent the offer, I told them, go ahead and cancel my offer, and then I will just change the price so that you can just buy it. So I did it, and I, they didn't do it right away, but they ended up doing it anyway. But they left me a note. And let me pull up so I can read that. They uh, sent me a message um, after making the purchase and they said, thanks so much. It's silly, but my dad had this keychain when I was a kid and I had it, but it fell apart and I'd love to replace it. I was psyched to find it here. So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that. It was kind of nice. I like getting those kind of messages and I don't get them very often. So that's what that sold. And that's, it was a cool message. Now, let me get to the next item. And before I get to the next item, I'm going to show everybody what I do because I think everybody should have one of these. This is thanks to um, Chad Pagel. The, sorry, Chad, I can't remember your, your page anymore because I don't go on it anymore. Um, the Reseller Society, I think is what it was. But yeah, here's what I use. He mentioned this one uh, night in a show and i had to find it and i've since then i've actually i found one at the thrift that one broke i bought one off of ebay and then i found another one at the thrift so here's what it is he mentioned getting one of these denny food savers which is awesome because it's got a vacuum and then this metal piece here to be able to get things done so here is what i'm going to do i have a couple of cut pieces of uh bubble wrap from actually using for my vinyl and what I do is put them here hold on all right so what I do is I get them to seal on the side there's one There's another. Here, I'll do it this way, make it easier. All right, so let me set this down for a sec. You know, actually, here I can do it like this. I actually put these just to give it a little bit of extra protection. It's hard to do this single-handed. Uh, all right. Get that in there. I don't need to put leave it in the thing, but I'm going to anyway. But let me get this in here. And it's just a way for me to give it that little bit of extra come on, baby. Protection. So now it's sealed in bubble wrap. So I do that with a lot of my smalls, and I figured for 30 bucks, even though I didn't really have to, I do it anyway, and that's how I'm shipping it. And then also for smalls, I got these little bubble mailers that actually my boss's um, 
secretary when I was at the warehouse bought these for shipping all the smalls. So I also use these a lot because for the sh the uh, for all of my fishing gear that's small, I just use the Tyvek or so that I can do that. But anyway. All right, and next I sold one of the video games I just listed yesterday morning, and I realized I didn't add shipping on it, but I've had this sitting in a drawer for probably like three or four years, and I think I got it for free from my brother-in-law, so I sold it for $4.99 with free shipping, and it's on to a new home, so somebody will appreciate having it. So that was pretty much uh, not even breaking even, because it's going to be $4.15 to ship it. Oh, well, it's out. All right, and finally, stuff that's mine that's sold. The third one was this Mad Gab game. Um, I just bought this at Goodwill on Monday. I think. Yeah, Monday. Got it listed Monday afternoon. And somebody sent me an offer for 15 bucks, so I figured I'd accept it. I think I paid 4 49 for it, so a little bit of profit on that one. And this is why I save things from other packaging, because sometimes they work. So I had to find a box. Luckily I have this 10A6 and then it fits just just right. But these pieces from another package I save over there in a box. Perfect for keeping it secure in my box so that I didn't have to put too much paper or anything else. And this is all I'm putting in it. So that was kind of good. Worked out really good. And that is the three things I got shipped and now to get to the next stuff for the fishing company. I have an offer to respond here to and I'm wondering if I should share it. This guy's interesting, but I'll wait till the end of the video to share that. All right, so one of the things I sold was another couple of bombers and to one person and they bought two of one item and two of another. So let me get those out and move on to the next one. All right, so here is the first sale. These are, I think I have them for $6.99 each. Same with these. My boss says to go up in price on them. However, that is about what they're gonna sell for anyway. And we have a ton of these, so I don't wanna go too high. That was the last two of this. And then this one sold, this was another one. And these are $14.99 and I still have two left. And then these, same item, the only three I had Somebody bought one and then another buyer bought two. So, and those were for $14.99 each. So, because I could not find anything on these in the last year, I went a lot higher than normal. I think the other stuff in this series sells for around $6.99, $7.99. I threw it up for double and they sold. So, let me get on to this other situation where this guy wanted want you send me an offer for something but I really don't like the comment he put in here so I am going to either ignore it or send him a reply that he may actually not like so let me get into it here and I will tell you what he sent all right so I got this offer and I will post it this hat I actually have two of these hats one in this aqua teal color and one in a gray I bought these at a thrift and even though they are technically pre-owned they have never been worn so and if they have but I don't I have them as pre-owned so it's kind of the funny part um, but at the time of me finding these and listing these and as of now I haven't found any have sold or have been listed so apparently this person from New South Wales sends this message or an offer I have them on for $149.99 and since there are none it actually took me a while to find these and verify that these were actually Lewis Hamilton hats so and based on this stuff that's on the back of them they were so after getting them listed, I threw them up for $149.95, and this guy leaves me a message of a $50 offer. Say, not sure if you had a typo, but no pre-owned hat is worth $165, even if in mint, or new for that matter. He's feel free to counter offer. So, I did some research, and I will post that 
here of solds of Formula One related hats that have sold for more than $150 or more than $165. He's Australian money. So, so that right there proves that hats do sell for more than $150. And then on top of that, technically, even though it is just a hat, it is a collectible hat. And being that there's hardly any of them out there to find, I threw it up for a higher price because they are that hard to find these days. And I figured, why not? We'll see what I can do. I know it's just a price, but I'm tempted to reply with this. You may not think it's worth $165, but it is technically a collectible. And just because somebody throws $72 million at a Ferrari 250 GTO does not make it worth $72 million. Just like this hat, if someone's willing to pay $150 for it, then that's what it's worth. So I'm just kind of deciding if I should send him a message like that or just leave it be and just ignore his offer because it's going to be an issue. I can already tell. But anyway... That is it with that, and I need to switch hands, so my arm was getting jacked up there. But yeah, so I'm not sure if I even want to reply to this guy or not. Um, what would you do? Comment below and tell me what you would do on a customer like this, because I've had a few offers for this thing, like 30 bucks. I'm like, no. As hard as this hat is to get, it is worth that kind of money. Heck, I've, I've sold hats for 150 bucks. Not Formula One related, but I've sold hats for 150 bucks. No, they're technically not worth it, but if somebody's willing to pay that, that is what they sell for. So, um, anyway, I am going to just leave it at that. But yeah, comment below and tell me what you would do on this situation and just, uh, yeah. I'd love to hear from anybody who has gone through something like this similarly and if they've just ignored it and moved on or countered and moved on because he says I can feel free to counter offer but you know what all it takes is getting a signature on that hat and I can sell it for 500 bucks and it's just stupid ink on a stinking piece of paper or on a hat so why does it make it worth that much money no but if somebody's willing to pay it yeah I'm done I'm going to run to the post office and get my shipping done and get home. I got stuff to do and go from there because I got to be back at my boss's tomorrow after making another sifter because I've made them two already with different size steel mesh in them. Now he wants one with bigger mesh in it. So I get to make that. Anyway, comment below about this video um, or more or less just about the hat, what you would do. Um, please. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that bell for notification. And with that, I am Todd, the curator of thrift, and I am out. Happy hunting, everybody.